This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Here we go! Off to the actual good ending now, to the ends of the earth. Okay, this time, we confront him together. For world peace! The car advances steadily down the dark, unlit road. Eventually, the rough country lane under our headlights gives way to a paved road, and the scenery around us starts to suggest the work of human hands. The dreamlike world's behind us now. We've been dragged back into reality. <laughs> Stand up and fight! <laughs> Glancing briefly at the GPS mounted next to the wheel, I do a little mental arithmetic. Another 30 minutes or so. There shouldn't be much traffic after this, so maybe a little bit earlier. A tinge of barely suppressed uneasiness in her voice, Yumiko says that and nothing more. The hand resting in her lap forcefully grips the fabric of her skirt, trembling ever so slightly. Feeling anxious? <laughs> Alright guys, well, I don't know how many people in this chat have actually seen this route before, but for those of you who haven't seen the route before, what do you think Yuji's crazy plan is going to be this time? So thus far, he's blown up a school, and he's pretended to kill his girlfriend. Both were terrible. Will this be a less psychopathic plan, or will it be just as psychopathic? I think he's probably... Hmm. How can this... How can he reconcile this? He's gonna, like, break into the, his main, like, business office. He's gonna, like, beat up a bunch of the guards go into the room so that Yumiko can be like, Dad, I hate you because of this. And he's like, I didn't realize you hate me. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. After all that running and hiding, we're suddenly confronting our enemy head on. Can hardly blame the girl for being a little unsettled. Oh, I know. We're going to go to his office, break in. He's going to be like, what the heck are you doing here? And then we explain him the true meaning of Christmas. And then he, his heart grows six t sizes bigger. And then he carves the roast beast. That's how it's going to go. <laughs> for all her anger, Yumiko was only able to resist her father through self-imposed isolation until now. This must feel like something of a suicide mission. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I will explain the true meaning of Christmas. Taking one hand from the steering wheel, I reach down to, to Yumiko's lap and clasp her shaking hand. Where did we get this car? After a few strokes of my fingers against her white knuckles, that tense fist finally relaxes a little. <laughs> Don't worry, I picked up some bombs. After our mutual choice to confront Sakaki Michiaki, I promptly got in contact with JB, after which Yumiko and I laid low for a few days. And yesterday, I received the call I'd been waiting for. Yumiko and I set out in a rented car, but I still haven't told her the details of our plan as of yet. Well, I said fight, but it would be a little too reckless to crash through the front door of a massive corporation and start kicking the furniture around. That sounds like something you would do, though, Yuji. I mean, you threw a frozen tur- someone else's frozen turkey into a jet turbine. So, like, by the way, you still owe Takashi a free turkey. <laughs> I feel bad for that, dude. I used to a stop at a red light. For a moment, there's no sound except for our car's idling engine and murmuring AM radio. I left for our traffic report. Okay, that's what that was. I'm like, I'm like, I hear this weird noise through the music. It's apparently supposed to be a droning radio. Before we get to that, if we're going to pick a fight, don't you think we're a little low on manpower at the moment? <laughs> I hired the spider of friends to help us out. The sudden question leaves Yumiko bemused. Right now, we're heading to the place where our allies are waiting. If so, help me if... Are we actually going to finish Grisea before we finish Hollow Knight? That's crazy. That's right, a handful of people who are willing to fight the world with us. The light changes to green. A step behind the black minivan next to us in the passing lane, I ease forward into the intersection. Our small silver van, bathing in faint moonlight, speeds earnestly down the all but empty national road. Surrounded by darkness, that pale light glint of light doggedly pushes forward, pursuing a single thread of hope. Spider friends are your friends forever. Even if we're in a different game, they will help us out. We're here. The final battlefield, so to speak. Climbing quickly out of the car, I wait for Yumiko to follow. As she steps down from the passenger seat, the girl looks up at the dark building in front of us. <sighs> Her mouth hated open in shock. 
looking at my face, then at the building, then back at my face. Yumiko stutters out a few flustered words. It's back to school. Just like Office Max. Paying her no mind, I stride forward and push open a familiar door for the first time in a good year. I hope there are other students here who are like, who the hell, who the cuss is this person? Because <laughs> Muhammad Academy only had six people here. I hope now there's like 20 and they're like, who, who's this loser? Sure has been a while. Normally returning after a year's absence wouldn't be enough to inspire that much emotion. But then again, considering all the dramatic changes that have transformed our lives since leaving this place, maybe it's only natural that I'd get a little nostalgic. <laughs> but just as those words of disbelief leave Yumiko's mouth, the sound of rapid footsteps approaches quickly from the far side of the lobby. Yuck, not you. Whoa! Before I can even turn around, a human missile barrels into my side and tackles me to the ground. Yumiko's here too, not just me. Okay, you're too attached. Get off me. Look, woman, couldn't you manage a slightly more normal hello? Get out. <laughs> exactly. Get out. Stop sucking on my damn cheek! Yumiko's going to... Squirming under Anmone's embrace, I managed to move my face just enough to look at Yumiko. So you have chosen death. As expected, she's staring down at our co-ed professional wrestling match with an expression halfway between astonishment and fury. God, I want to slap her so bad. Just get off already. It's hard to breathe with all those great fa- I'm not reading that. Pressing down into my chest. Get your obobs under control, lady. Just stop talking, and I don't want to hear you speak any words as long as we're in the same room together. Look, Amane. No, that went way beyond friendly hug. That went so far beyond friendly hug that it's kind of disgusting. With great difficulty, I finally managed to pry Amane off of me. I didn't ask her this, she's just terrible. As I clamber to my feet, Yumiko's angry glare gives way to once more an expression of sheer confusion. Amane's sudden assault might have been surprising, but not nearly so much as our return to Mahama Academy itself. Hey, Sachi. Hi, Makina. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll explain the circumstances later. Saki, Sachi, and Makina, looking completely unchanged from a year ago, make their appearance. Nice to see you again, Sundere. <laughs> oh, look, they're still being mean to me, Shiru. Dang, croquettes? A fancy. Doggone it, OBS disconnected again. Oh wow, it reconnected fast that time. Oh sweet. Okay, sorry about wow, I have I don't think I've ever had OBS reconnect that quickly before. Yeah, sorry about this. Uh <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. OBS for some reason just has a habit of disconnecting. I think the reason is if my PC overheats as one of its failsafes, it just cuts out the internet automatically, which causes OBS to disconnect. It used to happen pretty much every single stream, but it's been doing great not doing that for a while, but I guess it's back. Oh yeah, we probably should change the title of the stream. Yeah, you're right. In fact... Oh. I've never done this on my phone before, but I'm sure I can. Eh, eh, eh. No, I don't want to actually have the volume on. Can I do this for my phone? I probably can, but... 
Excuse me for a minute. Let me just change it on fire. I'll have to do it in my browser, which will probably cause OBS to crash again. But you know, sometimes life isn't fair. Sometimes it isn't fair. But yes, good call. We are not hiding from dead anymore. All right, we are back now. Oh, I don't know. Maybe just the fact that your old friends are here again. And Yumiko is one of the few people who actually didn't treat you like trash, so... <laughs> the fact that we had to wait for OBS to reconnect and for me to change the stream title and that all that time just makes Michiru seem even more dim-witted. Your mind works in interesting ways, Michiru, as always. I'm gonna try! I'm, I'm, not I'm not the one who's controlling these crashes or anything, I'm just doing my best. I find myself smiling at the nostalgic farce playing out before my eyes. Ah, oh, yes, I love watching my classmate be verbally abused on a regular basis. On the other hand, Yumiko's too stunned even to speak. The expression on her face suggests an ongoing internal debate as to whether this is reality or some kind of dream. Finally, she reaches out tentatively and gives the sleeve of my shirt a little tug. <laughs> Not even sure where to begin asking questions, Yumiko lets all her confusion spill out in a somewhat jumbled stream of words. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Amine raises an eyebrow in surprise. Well, more or less. There was a lot going on. Didn't find the time to explain. Don't worry, I heard there are croquettes. Sachi, I hope you made some for me, because I haven't actually eaten a full dinner in about three years. <laughs> I'm sorry, one year. Although we're probably just making Yumiko even more confused right now, for the time being we decide to regroup in the management room. In other words, my former residence. I didn't say I hadn't eaten dinner in a year, I said I hadn't eaten a FULL dinner in a year. You know, you always had something to eat, just not enough. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Alright, where should I even begin? After everyone settled down inside the room, I paused to collect my thoughts. I've actually taken quite a number of steps without Yumiko's knowledge. Yeah, you have! And in some cases, matters are tangled enough that explaining systematically might prove challenging. Makes sense. Clearing up your questions should make things nice and comprehensible. <laughs> Be because, Yumiko, it's the status quo. Nothing's allowed to change. From the question, I'm assuming you thought this school was going to be shut down? Yumiko nods. Which explains why there's only six students here. When you disappeared, so did the meaning for its existence. That your line of thought? <laughs> Yumiko, nothing ever changes in anime, that's why. The super senior in question responds with a bright, casual smile. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like, I purposefully failed all my classes because I wanted to stay with Yuji. He's like, that's creepy. Sachi nods and follows up Amine's interruption with a comment of her own. Oh no, not your bike! I really am sorry about that. Must have been a real headache. <laughs> 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 I 
You want to talk? I'm. <laughs> I love that little. I love that audio effect of her talking quieter and quieter as she leaves. I'm going to get back on topic now. The suspicion that they helped arrange our escape was cleared up eventually. Soon afterward, the principal informed everyone the school would be closing its doors. <laughs> She's still talking in the background! <laughs> She's still talking in the background! そして私たちがここに住んでいる限り、風見さんたちが戻ってくる可能性がありますよと話をしてもらったんです。さあもう罠を仕掛けるかのように地図地図に一芝居打ってもらったのよさ。狙いは成功。学園も寮も一まずは
I, I get you have the board of directors who control things in like a more public business, but if you like start your own business, there ain't no board over you. <laughs> Once again, Sachi gestures toward the screen of her notebook computer. This is getting too technical for my understanding. With a click on the trackpad, she flips from the dead spreadsheet to an easily comprehensible pie graph. Mmm, pie. <laughs> <laughs> we bought all of it. No, you want all the stock. I'm with Mitru on this. I don't understand any of this business talk. Oh, guys, the hilarious running gag of people throwing stuff into Mitru's mouth returned! Yay! <laughs> We've been prank calling him, ordering pizza all the time! <laughs> And we've been making viral vines <laughs> about how much he stinks. That's because he's a butt. <laughs> And how are you going to pay for all this? <laughs> I don't understand how that happened. <laughs> I, ju I just... From a fundamental standpoint, I don't understand how you can, like, start your own company, own all of it, and then, like, a board votes is like, no, you're out. It's like, it's my freaking company. Again, this ain't no democracy. <laughs> this is also why Artie did not major in business. Artie majored in computer science and mathematics. Although, I only got a minor in mathematics, not a major. <laughs> That's how we really get rid of him. Get Elon Musk on the board. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna buy all this stock. How are we gonna pay for it? <laughs> Charge it! <laughs> well, I can't disagree with Michiru on that one. As Yumiko's face fills with questions, I lightly drop a hand onto the crown of her head. And that's why JB and I arranged a few things behind the scenes. Since right after our initial escape. One year ago, Yumiko and I chose to flee together. At the time, I said we were going to look for an answer, not just run away. And just as those words might suggest, I began a quiet search from the shadows, seeking a way for Yumiko to earn genuine freedom. Who the heck is this? Who the heck is this? This is far too early to be introducing a new... This is far too late in the route to be introducing a brand new character. Chiara? Who the heck is this? Why are you talking about it like I'm supposed to know who this is? I see. With a little prodding, we might really stand a chance. To eliminate the problem posed by Sakaki Michiaki, we need to only deprive him of power. It didn't take long for me to reach that and earn that... S so it didn't take me long for me to reach that simple conclusion, but as a fugitive with only a few students for allies, there didn't seem to be a practical way of making it happen. That changed, surprisingly enough, with a furtive proposal from JB. Sakaki Michiaki had meddled directly in Ichigai's internal affairs in this matter, inspiring widespread resentment. Certain higher-ups had directly authorized an attempt to arrange his dismissal. However, JB was in frequent contact with Sakaki Michiaki as our liaison. It was too dangerous for her to try any direct action. 
She oh, well, I haven't played Machina's Root, and I'm not playing Machina's Root. Oh, she's JB's assistant? That seems weird. Like, why would they just, like, throw her in here randomly? Why wouldn't it be JB doing this? I don't know. Interesting, though. I was assigned her direct subordinate, a woman named Chiara, to assist in aiding the coup. Right. I've already explained matters to the others at the dorm. Go ahead and get in contact with them as well. To our extreme good fortune, there was already what JB called a hostile internal power operating inside the East Beach ownership, and it didn't prove difficult to make them into our allies. In any case, we carried our complex preparations forward carefully, but steadily, aiming for to our day of reckoning. Not that I mentioned any of that to Yumiko at the time. This all seems highly convenient. Not too long ago, we finally managed to secure a majority for the opposition faction. I take out my cell phone and hold it up for Yumiko to see. You know how we hid out for a few days before coming here? Just stalling for time while our allies called an extraordinary general meeting. Agenda's pretty simple. A resolution for a certain board member's dismissal. He owns the freaking company! <laughs> That's right. We're going to have Sakaki Michiaki removed from the board of directors. He is the board of directors. Exactly. He can't be the representative director of a stock company. It's president. If you're not even a director. I snap open my cell phone and type out a series of digits. It's the same number Yumiko called from a public telephone about a week ago on the verge of giving up hope. Oh! <laughs> it's phone number one! <laughs> the same call that nearly meant our defeat, but this time, it's a declaration of war. <laughs> In response to Michiaki's surly greeting, I firmly and clearly announced myself, I hope you me realize this means war. This is Kazumi Yuji. From the other end of the line, the man audibly catches his breath. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> All of a sudden, Michiaki shifts into an entirely different gear. There's obvious tension in his voice. <laughs> I'm inside the prison you built. After considering this for the briefest of moments, Michiaki responds with a shout. Oh, you're good at guessing games. But then again, I suppose that one wasn't too much of a leap for you, was it? That's right. She's standing right next to me. If you want her back, come to the Mahama Academy dorm at 10 tomorrow morning. We'll talk then. I don't see any reason I should answer that question. But in general, President Sakaki, I'd encourage you to tread carefully. I abruptly end the call, not bothering to answer Michiaki's question. Yumiko's still staring at me. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a lot. Yumiko's still staring at me in slack-jawed astonishment. I turn to face her and deliver her a reassuring little thump on the shoulder. There. We've got our actors and our stage. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the curtain to rise. Uh oh, derpy face is back. I can't believe this is happening to me. わたしだ。今から債務買うぞ。ああ、そうだ。ユミコの件で動きがあった。それと一ヶ谷緊急連絡を回せ。すぐにだ。そうだ。アルデラだ。あのスパイ女を陸上補給用で連れてこい。明日
Since we've been preparing for this well in advance, there aren't any questions or objections now. All that's left is to assume our roles and see how it all plays out tomorrow. Yumiko calls out to stop us, and the others turn back to face her. <laughs> Is Michiaki the kind of guy to eat whole grain bread? I don't know about that. <laughs> Just as the words start to leave Yumiko's mouth, Amine raises a hand to interrupt. That's true! Yumiko looks at everyone's face in turn, her expression still shadowed with guilt. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to process all this. So I don't understand the full extent of Yuji's plan because I don't understand the business world. I'm assuming that like his plan was basically I put this in place basically as soon as we ran away, and we like all the dominoes are now in effect to just remove him from the company entirely. But then there's a chance to just not do that. It's like, we literally all we have to do is like make one phone call, and then, like, he completely loses every feed and we get the best editing. But nah, that's too risky. <laughs> Seems weird. <laughs> Seems weird. I'm probably the weird one, though, because, again, I don't understand this plan. I'm just, I'm just alone for the ride. <laughs> 